to a baseball. You don't. No! <laughs> Yo, what's up? Huh? What's going on, folks? First, you got CBS uh, not apologizing for that Dan Rather 60 Minutes thing. CBS should apologize for two and a half men. You ever see that Charlie Sheen show? <laughs> it really bugs me, that show, and I can't really tell you why yet, but I will know soon. <laughs> CBS is getting too straight. First of all, Dr. Phil, as you know, who I'm obsessed with, he had some couple... No, but he had a couple on yesterday after the show. The guy's, like, bad-mouthing him behind the camera, and the cameraman must have caught him. Dr. Phil, I swear to God, came backstage and gets in the guy's face. He's like, do you got a problem with me? And <laughs> Dr. Phil... But he uses, like, his language, you inappropriate, non-communicatives. No boundaries, son of a bitch. I'll crack your skull with a free copy of my new book, Family First. You know? He's getting like... He's reminding me of Dog, the bounty hunter. You ever see that? Mullet head. He handcuffs people with his mullet. You ever see that bounty hunter? And he's a, he's a religious bounty hunter. He's like putting... I've seen this show many... He puts people in chokeholds. He's like, don't resist. Jesus loves you. I'm doing this out of... You know? And they, they don't even give him a gun. I guess he can't have a gun. He's an ex-con. He's got like a can of spray can of mace. He pulls it out like it's a gun. Like, people surrender because they think it's hairspray. They're like, no, don't make my hair look like yours, dog, please. Um, speaking of hairspray, the other new show I watch is Growing Up Gotti. You ever see these maniac kids? They have the same temperament as, like, their uncles, but without the street environment. So instead of what they should be, you know, doing, like going around baseball batting gamblers that are late on their payments, you know, they're running around this big mansion screaming at each other, who used my conditioner? Who borrowed my styling gel, Carmine? I'm going to kill somebody. You know, they remind me of, like, lions that were raised in captivity. So, like, they're genetically predisposed to roar, but they aren't sure why they're doing it. You know what I mean? According to a court document obtained by Sports Illustrated, Kobe Bryant told cops he was going to take a shot at paying off his accuser. Kobe is quoted as saying, I'm in the worst effing situation. What do you guys think? What else would he do? I mean, let's face it. That doesn't it. work. No? You've tried it? Oh, well, I got a girl back to the hotel at the Funny Bone in Pittsburgh, and I told her I'd give her uh, two of my CDs. <laughs> if she dropped the charges. Yeah, and uh, it didn't work. How much is... Uh... How much is the rate worth? Like, how much? What's the going rate? Well, the wife alone for the ring for the wife was four million. I That's not the way I'm talking about. All right, these phony girls in this audience, but they're not even gonna really discuss it. <laughs> uh, but what's the price? What's the price on on the rate? Meaning, you're okay, asking white guys. Wait, you're, wait a minute. Wait you're a minute. black guy in a sweatsuit asking the, us what the price of rate. <laughs> That's because white guys use roofies. They don't even go through this thing. <laughs> I'm talking about how much this? does it cost to, to F4 a woman to sell her humanity, which is what she's doing. She just sold off. She just sold it off, but man. But she didn't what, do 10 it. million? 5 million? Was That's true. 15 million? I don't know. Do you how much would you charge? I'd, I'd probably charge a million. I, I'd do so. People could heinously violate me and then have Can to you imagine? For a million? That's it. Why not? A million. Guys, yes. million. Don't act like million? you're better than that. Well, a prison? Let's go. You Before go to Rahway. You go to Rahway. A Shawshank Redemption happens on you. First of all, uh, Shawshank Redemption doesn't happen because white guys aren't the ones that rape in prison. But go ahead. <laughs> That phony movie, the next person to go, sure, Shaggy. That was realistic. The white guy. <laughs> you sound like I hate this country sometimes. Your, your man who is taken is finished, but they say, look, we don't, need the, we don't need the bad press for the prison. How much How much you going to take to shut your mouth for the rest well, of your mouth? Mate, that's it, you hoe? Damn, Polly. Hey, I'll walk it off. Just shake it off. <laughs> A million bucks. You know what I mean? You know any of those little uh, plastic seat uh, things you can buy for a million bucks? Just sit down. Uh, <laughs> you better hope <laughs> he's not watching right now. Oh, 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 Me? I'm right. from Comedy Central. What do we make here? We make dirt. That's 100000 I'd watch. All right. <laughs> what do you guys think? Let's hear from you two. John, you have any opinion on this whole case? You know, I hate to agree with uh, Charles Barkley, but the NBA players are not role models. I mean, it's so hard for me to explain to my son what rape is and what adultery is, again. 
<laughs> but at least now you can do it from a less personal stance. Yeah. But that shows you, Sean, what do you think? Well, at the time, he goes, well, uh, can I pay her off? And 14 months later, we see, yes, he, he can. can. Yeah. Uh, no. He could have saved that $4 million on the ring to the wife and give it like... That four. was the longest negotiation. For, yeah. It, 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 he's paying... He's, he said he's going to get three mil or four mil. That's going to be it. you believe it. guys are willing to, to give a, a woman a million bucks just to look at something that they pee out of? I mean, that's... <laughs> Just to get a look at that. Seriously, that's all that no, is. No, it now, is. Now, speaking of athletic, uh, well, miss... Oh, go ahead. Well, I'm just saying, but that's what it is now. Yeah, I've got my pipe again. <laughs> but no, that's Very what it is now. If you go back to World War II, you can pay for girl for chocolates and pantyhose, you know, at that point. And you, so you, it's all... is you can do that in Arkansas right now. Arkansas, too, now. <laughs> well, <laughs> speaking of Arkansas, oh, we... let's talk about Texas Rangers. Uh -oh, my that's God. next to Arkansas. Texas Rangers pitcher Frank Francisco oh, a, was arrested yesterday on a charge of aggravated battery after he threw a chair into the stands during a fight between the players and fans. The chair hit two people. It broke some woman's nose. Here it is. Ready? <laughs> you <hear> the music? <laughs> See, <laughs> now let's be honest. Every guy here left. <laughs> That's just because the music. Every guy here has left. Because somebody getting hit with a chair is always funny to men. You know why. <laughs> it's sad, but true. Let me tell you something. If I'm a woman, I had a choice between giving this up for a million or getting hit with a chair on the face. And she's going to get rich, right? Yeah, she'll probably make some money. Uh, he's I a middle reliever, him. though. He doesn't Liz have a lot of money. She said she'd take a chair in the face for a million dollars, man. Why she, wouldn't she? She said, I'll take one in the face. No, it wasn't five. Did she say she'd take one in the face or take she said she'd get a chair in the face? A chair, a chair. All right. Um, now, Keyshawn, you're an Astros fan, but you know these Rangers. What do you think? Yeah, the Rangers. Well, I mean, you know, even in Texas, you can't hit a woman with a chair unless you're married to her. Unless you're you married know? to her. Yeah. So how's he going to get off? I think if you're out in a playoffs, you might as well just have fun. <laughs> you know, and I tell you, I've been heckled many times on stage, and there's many times I've wanted to take a piano oh. and shove it up somebody's ass. <laughs> You just don't do it. You just but don't it was it. in Oakland, and it surprises me because Oakland sports fans are usually so well behaved. <laughs> <laughs> he, should, he should be the dude. If if the average person can't smack somebody in the face with a chair, it, it, I mean the same thing. I mean I'm assuming that we think he's gonna get off because he's he's not getting off. He's, he's not getting off. Up a oh, bunch no. of dough. He's not gonna be in the to get jail. Well, when I say get get getting off, I say I mean jail. I, I, that's the thing. I'm any any time I say getting off, it's it's jail. If you gotta pay money. You you got off. Money Jail is not getting off. So if he's not going to jail, he's getting off. He's, he pays. Just, he's but. guilty just on that picture alone. No, that is true. <laughs> oh, you guys. We'll be right back. <laughs> Monday, guess what I done? We asked you people to vote on the singular wireless viewers' chairs topic. Yeah, you wanted to discuss. So what they chose was who's more whipped, like pee whipped, Bush or Kerry? All right, that's what we discuss. I think, but my obviously Kerry is. Yes. Oh yeah. yeah. Everybody yeah, agrees. Kerry. No. Yeah. You think Bush is? Y'all discuss it and then we'll just look at their is. slogans. Yes. Bush says, bring it on. Kerry goes, reporting for duty. That's what he says to his wife. <laughs> That's because he reported for duty. You understand what I'm saying? John Kerry. did what? John, well, Kerry says, bring John it on. Kerry was a, he, no, he's originally a, Bush said, bring it on. Get out of here. Bush never said anything in his Jesus, whole life. Originally, stupid. Schwarzenegger said, bring it on. Exactly. <laughs> bring it on. Stop. Yes, exactly. Bush Stop. said it right after we went Well, forget to about war. that. Let's talk about who's whipped. Why, are you, why do you have the nerve to sit here? And, I'm not, and it's not because I'm black and he's Democrat. Are you Shut your mouth. That's all. Is a part of it, but it's a little bit. The black. other part, you're black. why do you say? Forget about that. Why I'm gonna tell you why that Bush is I'm Bush P whip. Go ahead. And not Kerry. Kerry has a look. Man, I like how you kept the drop the whip. Every, every, I, I, don't know. <laughs> I like how this guy. I like how this guy is you. Oh my fault, you. My bad. W. I'm saying that Jesus, you can tell Trump. that he's di he's directed. His mother takes care of him. You see his mother coddle him. His father coddles him. His he's wife coddles him. 
tells him what to do. John Kerry keeps a, a major broad in his corner all the time. This is not just the top broad he's ever had, just Heinzler. He keeps models and keeps actresses in his stable. He's a pimp. I forgot that. He's been, he been in war. The dude got game. He's not a punk, Let me say man. one thing. Bush is being a question. Let me say one thing. Let me say one thing. First of all, I don't like the fact you're from Massachusetts. You know Kerry's history, and we don't. Second of all, <laughs> guess what? Surprise. We found a few white people in the country that don't think it's a compliment. They call it pimp. Why do you call somebody all in love? Anybody else have anything to say? Stop it! <laughs> she's got all the money. She's got all the so, money. So he's, he's a pimp! No, he's got all the money. You he's know what? He has to sit there and take it. He's a she, she calls that big head. She calls him big head and he just says, yeah. How do you, did, you, did, you see, did you see this lady t shot on her, the, 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 Teresa Hines? She's a controlling, crazy bro. Who's gonna control that woman? Other than a pimp, he's the only no, one that's no, gonna try. No, no, if he was a pimp, no, 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 no. if he was a pimp, he would shut him out. If he was a pimp, he would have smacked him and said, "Don't you but ever he, speak do you notice, my convention?" Because he's smooth. Do you notice she don't talk that much anymore? He got the pop in his John, I think if she leaves, he's Kobe's bitch. <laughs> that's true. Now, John. Correct me if I'm wrong, you're the one here that has actually served in Vietnam. Yes, I did. So, uh, exactly. Yes. God forbid. It was something. a Wednesday. Hey, I was in the Army. No, you weren't. Yes, I was. Oh, shut up, will you? I got high. That's all I did. <laughs> <laughs> now, that's a man's man. <laughs> Okay, what you, didn't say, you didn't say why, why, Carrie, why you think Carrie's more pee whip. You didn't I say did why. because I, I saw her on TV and her attitude. I just can't imagine him putting the next time you should have seen her, her hair should have been messed up, maybe just a little bit of not a hair. Yeah. <laughs> All right. no, oh, you, look at, you look at Bush, his wife's a librarian. That's She's what she like is. a psychopath. At best, at best it's going to be shh. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, you know, he sits there and takes it and she busts his balls and he sits there uh, and then whispers, I'm going to push you downstairs. Yeah. <laughs> He's just trying to get his son those insurance papers. But Bush's wife has a little thing to it. George, I thought we talked about that. You weren't yes. going to attract exactly. your money. No, and, and he lets it go only oh, so far and takes it. Can we take change it. the subject? Uh, a number of organizations and universities have been giving scholarships to gay students <laughs> because they're gay. Many of these organizations feel... <laughs> <laughs> How do I do it? All right. The reason they do it, we all know the reason they do it. They say, well, let them get cut off from their families. Good idea or bad idea? Let's start with you, John. I just thought, you know, they're talking about <coughs> universities like George Washington University, a lot of these other schools, they're thirty, forty thousand dollars $40,000 a year. They only give them like $1,000, $2,000. You can't buy a good boa for $2,000. <laughs> <laughs> Another thing, and now they're getting a high look at boas, isn't it? Uh -huh. <laughs> you know, Carrie's filming the whole... Uh, T-Show, what do you think? I don't know. I mean, uh, it's just, it seems silly for yeah. that. For that Did you you're say gay, silly because that's a gay word? No, I didn't say silly because it's a gay word, because okay. I have a pipe. All right, Nick, but, Patrice, go ahead, but what? But I, if they do do that, you know how they have football scouts? I want to go scout for lesbians. That's what I want to do. That's a good idea. I heard there's a young uh, Asian girl over Nick, at St. Mary's. I'm just, for you to, I'm just waiting for one of y'all to apply this to black people. It is. It's like the... Hey, I know it. I know it. Go ahead, Nick. It's just a rip-off of the United Negro College Fund for gay people. Matter of fact, this, this slogan is, uh, behind is a terrible thing to waste. <laughs> it's, it's a different... Thank you for setting me up. Uh, but how do they know? Uh, what is this? Uh, dirty, now the low blow. 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 I didn't even tell you guys about the latest. You know, Oprah Winfrey, she celebrated the premiere of her 19th season Monday by surprising each of her audience members with a new car. First, look at the people when they find out they got a nice new car. Ready? <coughs> All right, open your boxes. No shadow. Get you. See, that's what we got to start doing on the show. That's we have a little transportation. Everybody shut up. This is a setup. It's not being discussed. It's a setup. We have a little transportation surprise for our studio audience. If you guys look under your chairs, you might find something for transportation in the right front corner. That's right. You got a Metro card. You got a Metro card. Two trips. That's good for two trips. And you will see someone. It's all right.